Hello Summoners and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Nathan Ng and I'm here with the 12.17 mid-patch update. We'll be going over the updated tier list for all 5 roles and follow up on some balance changes from the patch. Also, if my voice sounds like it's dead, it's probably because it is. I've been shouting all day because I am now an uncle. <laughs> Which some of you guys may know if you follow me on my Instagram, at Nathan underscore ING. Just a little shameless self-plug there. Anyway, it's some pretty exciting stuff, but we're here for the patch update, which is also pretty exciting. But before we jump into things, I just want to give a shout out to our coaches over at ProGuides.com. Our meta videos like this are a great way to give you a push in the right direction, but if you're super serious about climbing, you'll want to go check those guys out. They're all top level players, and they're available 24-7, just waiting to share everything that they know with you. So stop grinding your face into the wall alone, and head over for some professional help now. Now, let's get on to this tier list. First, we'll start off with our top laners. We knew Maokai's little revamp this patch would make him better as a solo laner, but we weren't really sure how good he would be. We were cautious with our placement, but we really underestimated him. He's not just good, he's pretty damn broken, with him now being a much bigger damage threat, and on top of him being one of the best tanks for constant disruption in fights. His only real bad matchups are Mordekaiser and Darius. Aside from that, pretty much any matchup is winnable. Since Maokai is so good at forcing trades with his point and click engage, once you get ahead, he snowballs pretty hard. While he's definitely a tank, his carrying power makes him feel a lot more like a juggernaut. So with all that being said, we're definitely putting him in the OP tier for now. Pantheon mid has been pretty broken for a long time now, but in the top lane, it hasn't really been consistent. But it's been on the upswing lately, and right now, it's one of our higher performing picks, so we're moving him up to the S tier. He has a super strong laning phase, with some of the highest kill pressure in the game when you run Ignite. So, if you're an aggressive laner that likes to stomp games hard, he's definitely a pick that you should consider adding to your pool. After a very, very bumpy landing, Udyr has finally stabilized and is looking pretty decent. The combination of Sunfire Aegis and Demonic Embrace makes him really tanky, while also allowing him to be a bit of a damage threat. Now that he's no longer deep in the red, we're moving him up to the A tier. Darius was really dominating the meta not too long ago, but he has really fallen off over the past couple of patches. He's still got a lot of snowball potential if you get ahead early, but doing that is pretty tough against most of the meta top laners if your opponent knows what they're doing. He's still good enough to make the A tier, but not consistent enough for our top two tiers. Another champion that's fallen off really hard is Wukong. For almost the entire season, he's been a disgusting monster of a champion. Finally, Riot has nerfed him pretty hard, and now he's meh at best. You really only want to pick him in matchups that he wins really hard. The nerf to Trundle's W this patch hit him quite a bit harder than we thought it would, so we're moving him down to the C tier. He may still have a few good lane matchups, but he's so much less effective outside of the laning phase that there will pretty much always be better options. We previously had Silas in the B tier because he could be a decent counter pick to tanks like Orn and Malphite, but now there are barely any good meta picks that he does well against, and even when you do have a good matchup, he's just overall a hard champion to pull off, and a little bit too situational for my taste. He moves down to the C tier for now. Riven has definitely seen some better days, while Bruisers as a whole are pretty solid right now, she's down in the dumps, so we're moving her down to the C tier. With him getting nerfed this patch, Renekton gets demoted right back down to the C tier. He's one of Riot's favorite champions to bully since he shows up in competitive play so much, so don't expect him to make it out there for a while. Kenna may be doing super well as a mid laner, but in the top lane, there's basically no situation where he's good. We're moving him down to the C tier. He may bully lane for the first few levels, but he very quickly gets outscaled by champions that get played in this lane, and they can easily force an all in on you over and over again once they're strong enough. Jax has been bouncing up and down from average to bad over the past few months, and right now, he's right on the downswing. We'll be knocking him down to the C tier as a result. Now for the jungle, here's our list. We knew the buffs that he got this patch would help him clear his jungle a bit, but we didn't expect Nocturne to be this busted after the change. His win rate has shot up immensely this patch, and with enough games to back in, we think he's definitely worthy of being an OP tier. As with the top lane, Udyr jungle has stabilized as well, so we're moving him all the way up to the S tier. This has been a pretty big turnaround, considering his win rate was in the low 40s. Udyr is super simple mechanically speaking, but any new champion has a little bit of a learning curve, and people have to learn the ins and outs of their kit. Trying to get an idea of when they are capable of taking different fights is definitely important to learning a champion. Skarner gets brought up to the S tier this patch. He's one of our favorite champions to push on you guys in some of our other meta videos because he's just so consistent, yet heavily slept on. Maybe because when you play him, you'll probably heavily sleep. His main function is the ability to make guaranteed picks with his ultimate, but you can also flex his build to do more damage if you need it based on the team comps in your game. But like I said, I think he's pretty boring, so it's up to you. Ramus was popping off for quite a while, but the meta has shifted and he's really slowed his role, literally. 
So we're moving him down to the A tier. He's kind of like the budget version of Skarner. They both have guaranteed picking power, but Skarner is much more useful in fights after that initial pick with the disruption that he brings with his E. We really thought Trundle Jungle would be almost unfazed by the nerf that he got, but he has fallen off really hard. We're forced to move him down to the B tier. You'll only really want to use him to counter certain tanks, but outside of that, other champions carry a lot harder. The buff scrapes got this patch didn't really help that much, so we're demoting him to the C tier. Pretty much every other AFK farming champion scales so much better. Lastly for our jungle, we'll be moving Ivern down to the D tier. He's been either average or just really bad for what feels like the past few seasons, but it's pretty understandable why Riot won't buff him. When he's strong, he's easily one of the unhealthiest champions in the game. Now, here's our mid lane tier list. We'll be moving Vladimir up to the A tier. He's one of the most powerful hyper carries in the game, easily able to wipe out entire teams once you reach the late game. If we were in a slower meta, he would definitely be in the OP tier, but since he doesn't have enough of an early impact, he's pretty limited by how high we can place him. Kill also moves up to the A tier. Pretty much everything I said about Vladimir applies here. If you can manage to reach the late game of the game intact, you can hard carry the majority of games, but you're pretty helpless if things fall apart before that point. We'll be moving Talon up to the A tier. Seemingly out of nowhere, he's doing a lot better this patch. A lot of times, a spike in performance can happen at the start of the patch due to the low amount of games, but his play rate is high enough that this doesn't really seem like a red herring. Looking at stats, Cassidy is actually doing worse after being buffed on this patch, but this is probably because people are forcing the pick a little bit more. Either way, we're moving him right back down to the B tier. Only pick him when you know that you have a really good matchup. Ari spent a pretty good chunk of the season as one of the most broken picks in the game. She won every lane, scaled super hard, and was relatively easy to use. But that was then, and now she's pretty bad. We'll be moving her to the C tier for now. Irelia's recent buffs have helped her quite a bit as a top laner, but overall, she's still a pretty bad mid laner. A lot of matchups are bad on her, and the short lane makes it hard to punish opponents in the few good ones. She also gets demoted down to the C tier. Twist of Fate's buff this patch really did nothing to help change how bad he was in solo queue lately, so we're moving him down to the C tier. Now let's move things down to the bot lane. We usually only talk about champions that are actually moving in places on the tier list, but Miss Fortune deserves a shout out. She's easily one of the most broken ADCs in the game right now, and with how easy she is to play, you're crazy if you aren't abusing her for some free low right now. Well, if she gets through the banning phase. Jin has dropped off a bit, so we're moving him down to the A tier, but I don't expect this to last for long. But usually, you know, things that last a while is, is, a, is a good thing. Anyway, for some reason, anytime he's not doing super well, Riot just throws buffs his way. Twitch gets brought down to the A tier as well. He still fills a certain niche very well, with the ability to be an assassin in the mid game and crazy hard carrying power post 3 items. But compared to the other champions in the S and OP tier, he just isn't nearly as consistent. Without Broken Sever has been since her mid scope update, we thought the nerf that she was getting this patch would barely knock her down to the S tier. But we really underestimated just how hard it would hit. She's not awful now, but she has nowhere near her previous carrying power. And we'll be putting her in the B tier. Ash also gets demoted to the B tier. Her utility makes her a good pick if you want to coast to a win with a better team, but you'll find it hard to carry games where everybody's just doing poorly. To finish things off, we have our supports. We talked about how hard it would be to accurately place Maokai in any of his three roles. They obviously wanted to push him towards being a stronger fighter so he would be doing good in the top lane again, and maybe even viable in the jungle. But making somebody a better top laner doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be bad at support. After all, he still has a point and click engage and a ton of disruption. It's just that now, since he got a lot more damage shifted to his Q, he does a lot better in direct trades, instead of relying on sapling spam to control the lane. This makes him a lot better when paired with a strong early game ADC to make a deadly kill lane. And his saplings still have a ton of utilities. They may not be landmines that truck foes, but they still give a ton of information and slow opponents that are trying to rotate. Ash gets demoted to the A tier. Honestly, this one's a bit puzzling to me. Everything about Ash support seems pretty broken. She bullies lanes hard, offers good kiting and decent damage in fights, and her ultimate is insane for making picks. And in my own experiences, I've won most games with her. But the stats don't lie. When it comes to solo queue, she's just a slightly above average pick, performing well under what we want to see in the S tier or higher. Brand really has picked up steam lately as a support pick, so we're moving him up to the S tier. It's worth noting that he does get a bit worse the higher in ELO you go. In gold and low plat, this rating 6, but in plat and diamond plus, his tier placement would probably be an A. Both Braum and Tom Kench move down to the C tier. We're lumping them together because they're both here pretty much for the same reason. They have their niches that they fill nicely, 
but they're really only worth picking in high-level competitive play to fill said niches. That's because outside of those really specific uses, they don't really provide much either in or outside of lane. We just got done moving Misfortune up to the C tier as a support, but since they nerfed her E this patch, she's right back down to the D tier. This adjustment was actually supposed to be quote unquote power neutral for APMF, since they upped the ratio onto the E's damage to make up for the longer cooldown. But it turns out, having it do a bit more damage and slow a bit harder doesn't make up for the bigger window of time between casts. And that about wraps things up for our 12.17 mid patch update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on where the champions fall into the tier list in the comment section below. Also, check out our description for a link to join our Discord community. As always, good luck on the Summer's Rift, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.